have a problem with that. Folks, a flocky, oh, he's a great teacher. That's good. Because that's one of the anointed gifts in the fivefold ministry. Apostle, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. How many know that you can't teach deliverance? You got to preach it. Y'all didn't hear me in here. You can't teach the gospel. You got to preach the gospel. Listen to what the Bible says. For the preaching of the gospel is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. In order to be delivered, you got to preach deliverance to the people. You can't teach them into deliverance. You can't teach somebody how not to be a homosexual. That's just like trying to keep teach a cow not to move and not to give milk. Look at somebody telling it is what it is. In order to get somebody delivered, you got to preach the hell out of them. Y'all missed it, didn't you? In order to get somebody delivered, you got to preach the hell out of them. That's hell in folk. And they need to have a preacher that's anointed by God to preach deliverance out of folks. You can't teach lesbianism out. Look at somebody tell me, you got to preach it out. You got to get somebody that's anointed by God to preach deliverance. Watch what Jesus said. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Watch this to preach deliverance to the captives. In other words, when people are bound by the things of the world, the flesh, and the devil, you need somebody that's anointed by God to preach them out of the prison that they're in. I remember David in the psalm saying, Lord, bring my soul out of prison that I will shine out of my heart. That I may magnify your name. If you've ever been in a spiritual prison, you know you're in a dangerous place. You want to lift your hand and praise God, but you can't do it because you're in a prison. You want to give God the ultimate worship, but you're in a prison, you can't do it. You want to live right all of the days, but you can't do it because you're in a prison. You want to put down the alcohol and the drugs, but you can't do it but you get because you're in a prison. You want to stop getting high, but you got to get high because you're in a prison. But what you need to do is find somebody that has been anointed by God to preach deliverance in your life. Look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, we need to be delivered. I'm just going to give you a few more minutes and I'll let y'all go.